It's an awful house, and I want it to get you out. I'm working on a plan right now to come through. I've waited for a lifetime for you to come down. Oh, nothing feels the same. Hey guys, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show all of the books that I got. I'm gonna go through this one first. Hi friends. I'm gonna show you guys this one first because it was a gift. Yeah, he's so cool, huh? Okay. I'm just gonna do kind of a quick flip through, but I really like the layout of all of this. I'll probably like steal it from her a couple of times just so I can kind of get some ideas. Look yes. at how nice this is. If you're a BTS yes. fan, I think you would really, really enjoy this book. It kind of gives you some background information about them, like some of their music. I really like this. I think it looks really cool. It tells about the, the story of how they came together when they first performed. It talks about what critics say with them. All of their fans. Like, look at how nice this is. It talks about their style changes, who these um, singers are in the group. Who is your favorite? If you see this, let me know who your favorite is in the group. I haven't really heard their music, but I might just try it out today. Okay. Let me see what the hype is about these guys but yeah I'll probably take some still pictures and like show which one's my favorite but so far this is one of the first books so the next book I'm going to talk to you guys about is this astounding illustrated history of fantasy and horror I think something that is really fun and cool about this book is as soon as you open it, you get hit with that big old pop of color from the dark cover. You get hit with this. All right. Ah, look at this one. I am so excited. So it has really neat artwork in here. I'm really interested in kind of graphic design right now and how to better make illustrations pop. So I'm trying to up my books on these illustrated. How I say that? Maybe before I think I have. I might have to look into this. That looks really cool. Gives me kind of like a gothic romance vibe to it. Oh look! Get another Prince Labyrinth. Gives you some information about them as well. This one's cool. And like the layout and everything of this just looks really nice. I'm just like randomly flipping through. You get a cool little timeline. Oh, look at Lord of the Rings. I love this. I'm probably going to go and read this. The entire thing of this. Lord of the Rings is one of my favorite. I love anything sci-fi. <laughs> my daughter would probably like this. She's really into sharks right now. Look at Nesperado. I think I said his name right, right? Well, no, he looks like Nesperado, but isn't that Salem's Lot or something? And one of the two. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's like either Salem's Lot or he looks like the guy from Nesperado. Um, let's see. Ooh, all my little David Bowie fans. Take it like this one. Dark Crystal is my favorite. If you guys watched the TV show, let me know what you guys thought about it. I want to try and get some of the books about it. 
that was super creepy. No idea what that's from. Mummy, this is one of my favorite little movie series. They've all except for Blade. Oh, I love Blade. I was just talking to my dad about that. <laughs> Definitely, I think, is what introduced me and got me interested in sci-fi. Isn't this the Golden Compass? Oh, it is. Ah, it's right there. I am such a sucker for movies. I have watched so many movies. I love everything about them. Ooh, there's Avatar. I think that's Alice in Wonderland right there. Is that Hostel? That movie creeped me out. I don't know about you guys, but it really creeped me out. If you guys want like a more in-depth of these books, go ahead and let me know. I just kind of want to do like a little flip through and share what I got. These look so cool. I have no idea what that's from, but that looks cool. Graham. I like this one. That was a really good TV series. Once Upon a Time, also another really good one. These are really cool, guys. Yeah, I think that's it. But let me know what you guys think. I will happily go into more of it. And if there's any movies you're interested in, I can try and see if it's in here. We can kind of go over it together. So the next book that I got was 50 States, 500 Scary Places to Visit. I thought this would be fun. Um, because we do a lot of road trips. My husband and I do with our kids. So I think it'd be fun for whenever we visit a new state to try and hit up some of these places. I'm kind of looking for Texas because that's where I'm from. Let's see if I can find it. If you guys have any requests to see your state and they're called some scary places there, let me know. It kind of gives you a little outline of this state and a few uh, places. I don't think I've been to any of these, honestly. Except for this one. I've seen this one. I feel like everyone in San Antonio has probably seen that one there. And, oh, there's a second page as well. Austin, Galveston. I've seen this, so I didn't know it was considered a haunt. That's kind of cool. But I think Haunted Hill House. Is that like a movie right now? And then it goes to Utah. But yeah, I think this would be kind of cool to and maybe make a series on YouTube. Let me know what you guys think. And the last one I'm gonna do a kind of in-depth look at is the Voices of the Wind, Native American Legends. I thought this would be cool. Uh, where I grew up is pretty close to a reservation and then I have family who is Native American as well. Um, but yeah, I think this would be kind of cool to like look at the, the stories from them and hear about that. I seen it in here, it was pretty cool. I like that they include little illustrations about this as well. But yeah, that's all for this bookish haul. Let me know what you guys think of kind of book themed videos you guys would like to see. I would love to do more of those.